to the Grits and Eggs inaugural award gala for their employees. Man, this event is amazing. We got hundreds of employees. We got hundreds and hundreds of people supporting the company and the owners and the organization. It is pretty compassionate that we can sit here and say, man, owners love to give back to their employees without their request. So I say to you, if you're an owner of a business, if you're doing amazing things, give back to those who work hard to make sure you accomplish your goals. My name is Lee Wright. I'm the author of My Bubble Opinion and the owner of Twig Publications. I am partnered with the Stewart Foundation, and we came here to support Grits and Eggs through this inauguration and gala events. It is wonderful. The employees are appreciative. They're giving all kinds of an awards out, all kinds of drawings, raffles, sponsors. And this is a unique event that it shows that giving back means more than taking. So thank you. I look forward to presenting my interviews to you, but I look forward to you enjoying this experience along with everybody that attended. Thank you. Have a wonderful day and God bless. Um, you know, Grits and Eggs has been around for a little while, but they've grown fast. So, Absolutely. so what gave you the, I would say, the know-it-all to go ahead and join with the other owners to make this a wonderful experience for customers? Actually, you know, we... As friends, we came together, you know, as mm -hmm. like brothers, you know, we decided that it's from the jump and we wanted to do something very different from what people are used to okay. in breakfast. So it's working pretty well. Okay. And then, uh, of course, we decided employees have been so great in uh, in taking care of a lot of people. So we just find uh, among the owners that at least come together and give back to them. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm here with... Um, Man, I, I would say one of Mike's closest comrades. Yes. Can I, that's okay? That sounds great. Uh, you know, Mr. Bass has been with Mike through thick and thin, and I'm quite sure they've had conversations when he has rough times and, and was a good confidant he could talk to to help him through things and see things and, you know, help him understand his passion and his, his journey. So um, how long have you been knowing Mike? Oh, man, I'm going to get my age away then. But well... Mike and I go way back to okay. junior high. Wow. So that's been, you know, some 40 years now, more than 40 years. Okay, okay. On the playground. On the playground, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so, so anything he's doing, I'm definitely here to support. So one of the things that Chef, right, so Chef got on me earlier. Okay. I'm like, really, Chef, why are you doing me like this, man? I said, uh, you know, when you cook it, he said, I'm a chef. Yeah. I'm certified. I said, yes, sir. Is yes, sir. True? So now, but he's good. Great. So, let's talk about some of the experience you had with him just being good and made him, you and him stay bonded. He's authentic. He's not trying to be anything that he he's not. So me and him bonded over him just being authentic. And then before him, I had a chef, and he knocked my chef all the way out of the box. Just being him and the product, what what he fixes, how he cooks, the love he puts into the food is untouchable. It's untouchable. good. So right now I have DJ Cut, amazing DJ. I'm talking, it should be known throughout Atlanta. But DJ, so what brought you here to this event today? Actually, uh, Chef Rasul is, is my childhood friend. So we'll all uh, talk about what he's going to do, what he want to do, mm -hmm. from the food truck to now. I'm right here for him. When was that? How long ago was that? That was... It probably started when he was at IHOP years ago. And I mean, blood, sweat, and cheers with the food truck. And the food truck was only like maybe three years ago. Okay. And now we're here. So he had the food truck three years ago. The food truck was going going great, but he thought bigger. And all the phone calls, all the, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, blood, sweat, and tears. How do you do, what, how do you know about Grits and Egg? What do you know about Grits and Egg? Uh, not that much, actually. Who do you know that works at Grits and Egg? My dad. And what's his name? Tony. Tony. So he's the owner, right? So do you ever eat there? Yeah. What is your favorite food? Bacon. Bacon. Oh, bacon is good, right? Some people might not think that, but hey, we're in agreement. I like bacon too. Okay, so. Employee gala. Employee appreciation. Right. Why do you care about your employees? Well, I was taught to care. My first 
plaque that I received, I was 19 years old from McDonald's. And I'm from the Bronx, I'm from New York, on 64th and Amsterdam, okay. Sugar Hill. And yet, I found a, 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 a bubble to, to work in and, and guide me through life, and that was McDonald's. So, 19 years old, I received my first plaque. And it oh, stuck wow. with me for life. You know, and I said, one day I'm going to be able to do this for someone else. And here's the day. We're going to do it today. Now, you know, actually, that's almost... Okay, well, as you can see, the gala has started, it's beginning, folks are starting to come in, they're taking photos, they're getting comfortable, they're making sure um, before they go into the event, they're kind of mingling and talking to each other. I have Renee here, mm -hmm. she's a, I should, I'm going to say she's a dedicated employee of Grits and Eggs, and how long have you been uh, working with them, Renee? Well, I've been working with Mike for like, well, when Mike first came down here in Atlanta, mm -hmm. I met him in 1987. We open up all the chairs. Say so you're probably going to run into this, so let me teach you how not to run into that right now. Is all that right. is that, that kind of close? That's it. Yeah. Um, teach them how to understand what they are doing before they do it, and uh, knowing the definition and uh, what you're doing before you get involved in it is the most important thing in the world. Then you know exactly how to deal with it properly. So how long have you been in the mentorship business? Well, I started back in 1972 in the food and beverage industry. When you're in the food and beverage industry, that is the entertainment people industry. Big Tony, um, they have a unique bond that, that goes beyond, how should I say, business. It's just a camaraderie and it's a friendship that has endured time. So. Um, Tell me, what's your experience with Grits and Eggs? Oh, uh, Grits and Eggs, man, represent guys. It's all about people. Big Tony, great guy, one of my good friends, and I'm here to support. I'm a musical poet, Jay writes, and we're here to support the people, man. So being an artist is... And, and is always there. Um, it takes a unique person to be able to handle that business mm -hmm. and personal. Mm -hmm. um, what made it easy for you? Well, I think we just kind of hit it off initially. Uh, he's just a good guy, uh, and he's got fear. So that's that's always a plus, and he's always tried to do what's right by his people. So I don't mind working for anybody that's going to do right by me. And again, putting, pro putting people before profits have always been a key to any company that I work for. Okay, do you want to say anything to the folks out there to close out before you go into the gala? Uh, just want to congratulate Mike. Uh, much success. Has he uh, had, how long has he been cooking and coming up with recipes, making people smile? <laughs> Mike has been doing this, I mean, God, you know, coming out of New York, you know, he, he ran uh, a couple of fast food restaurants in the Bronx and uh, coming back down here in Atlanta, you know, he's started out with uh, LeVan Hawkins doing uh, the, uh, the checkers and then eventually doing uh, Nancy's Pizza, which he owned for about 15 years or more, you know, and actually uh, set that up as a uh, one of the premier pizza spots here in Atlanta, okay, okay. you know, and for him to be doing this right now and to progress to actually five restaurants. They're not going anywhere and they're not going anywhere. Yeah. Know? So I'm the official hydration for Chris and Eggs. Yeah, so because I know any recipe that I do or that I, any food that I eat, I want good water added yeah. from washing it yeah. to preparation. Yeah, and you want to be consistent. You know what I mean? So if you get used to a water you like, then you expect it when you come back. You know, so that's where they are. You know, they like the brand. The clients like the brand. And we're excited about it because we're, we're ethnic and women-owned, you know. So it's exciting to us because we're able to provide water for not just Gris and Eggs, but a lot of other people in Atlanta, you know. So we're excited about that. Where's your company? The employee recognition inauguration. Um, so talk to me. Tell me, um, what do you, who do you know in this organization? Uh, Mike Glover. Okay. Mike Glover. He's been a good friend and a mentor for many, many years. Uh, just briefly, I took a year off from college way back in the day, okay. and I actually was in a management training program with him um, while I was at Morehouse College. Okay. So 
I worked with him and LeVan Hawkins bringing checkers to Atlanta, Georgia. Mike's always been a very fair person. He's always been a mentor to me and just a, a good friend and all around good guy. And that shows in how he appreciates his employees, but it shows in his partnerships and his bonding with folks close to him. Absolutely. Right? So, why do you think, man, it took him 20 plus years to do his vision. Why was he passionate about getting that done? Well, Mike's always, he's like a pit bull. When he gets his teeth sunk into something, they're going good so okay. far. Yeah. So, so, what made you think? you and the owners get together to have an event like this. What made you decide this? Because we felt like, you know, in the restaurant industry, employee services is the key. And a lot of people miss this out when they don't restaurants. Mm -hmm. So employees gives you the best service and then you try to appreciate them at the same time. So the event is to appreciate those employees for all the efforts and all the good work and deeds they've been doing for the company. Okay, and one of the cool things is, right, of that organization. So Charles, what brought you to this event today? Well, first of all, uh, Mr. Glover's a good friend, and the mere fact that I'm in Dr. King's position, president and CEO, I have to come and support a man like Mike Glover, as well as his staff and the other administrators. This is what it's all about, entrepreneurship, and not forgetting from which you have come. It's all community related. 100%, sir, to give back. Give back is something that you do 24-7. So many people don't understand that we as a people, and I'm talking about all fair-minded thinking correct, folks, correct. regardless of the ethnicity of their background, yes, sir. we're talking about God created all of us. And the other owners... What gave you the idea to kind of collectively bring folks together to start this experience? I mean, they're giving to us, we're giving back. They're giving them us with their customer service, mm -hmm. their hard work and dedication. We want to show them the same thing. Okay. I mean, okay. we want to show them that you mean something to us. Like most employees don't do it, but we want to show them at Grits and Eggs, our employees mean something to us. And yeah. They ain't just employees. And that's critical. I say that's critical because I was to say nowadays, usually an employee just comes to work and goes home. And it's rare that the head of the organization is still in touch with the most junior employee of the organization. So how does it...